All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is three years his senior. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? This one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman.
Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. There's no give on that leg kick. Over and over, he's fighting behind his beautiful leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Good takedown defense by Israel. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Just unable to quite find that range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in as he's doing his work now inside the office. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whoa! So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Wait. And there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards versus the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC letting his fighting do the talking to him. Let this fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, well, he's landed. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Throws the right hand there. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Just like this. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh! Total stretch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Slips the left hand. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Offensively, but defense still an issue, and as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Go third round of this championship. Edwards gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Superman punch now. Israel Adesanya's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Back oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Many of these. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Milian is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel.